Hello and welcome to my pollen talk today. Welcome to my pollen talk. Welcome to my pollen talk. Hello everyone, I'm very happy to be here with the representatives of the EU Commission but also members representing uh, the Belgian authorities uh, today. So if we are all here together for this meeting it's because we are convinced that we should develop renewable energies. But then is the most difficult question, are you all, do you all agree on developing renewable energies in your garden or in your backyard? Of course not. And this is the main issue uh, we are facing at the EU level, the fact that people do not want to have, like, for example, wind turbines nearby their home. And so the permitting process are often very, very delayed. So the EU Commission uh, decided that we should do something about that and that's why uh, they proposed a new uh, regulation. But first of all, let's remind quickly uh, the main objectives of the EU, so minus 55% by 2030 regarding uh, greenhouse gas emission, you know that. And you know also that renewable energy should be largely developed within uh, only uh, six years left to reach that 42.5%. So what was the idea of the EU Commission and then approved by the Member States and the EU Parliament? It is to create this kind of renewable acceleration areas where you have lower environmental risks. So the idea is that to define at the member state level some areas where you could build new renewable energy facilities with a kind of accelerated uh, procedure um, and you could also uh, get uh, faster so the, the, the permits and finally also citizens would have less means to uh, go against this project. So it is now in the uh, Renewable Energy Directive third, the third one, which will um, be uh, in force in June uh, this year and also another part uh, next year. So uh, very fast, uh, just to give you a quick overview of the regulation. First, as I said, the acceleration process designation. Then. The second point is very important, so the, the general presumption of overriding interest. In, if you want, if you go before a, a tribunal, you will have many interests at stake and the judges will have to balance these different interests. What happens here? We consider that building such renewable energy facilities is an overriding interest for the public interest. So, it makes it very strong before court. And finally, as I told you, the permitting process is really facilitated uh, with, of course, some impacts because there are always drawbacks uh, with every kind of policies. We have learned that during our module. And I identified two main impacts. The first one is, uh, is on biodiversity because you will have to conduct a lower environmental uh, assessment um, and also there is the possibility for member states not to exclude uh, biomass combustion and hydropower plants from these areas. Why, is it, why could it be an issue? Because hydropower um, projects have massive environmental consequences and if you allow such kind of project to enter into these kind of areas, then you open the door for uh, yeah, big projects without a lot of recourse against it. And also, of course, the rights and participation of local communities, the Iris Convention, which gives you the right to take part in the process and then to go before a court to challenge the project. But the EU is wise and they uh, proposed some mitigation measures and I'm, I won't read it here because we don't have much time left. But as you can see, these are very broad guidelines about member states should involve people, member states should uh, take some mitigation measures. 
My main point, and this is, these are my recommendations uh, today, is that we should be way more clear about what kind of measures uh, can member states uh, take. Regarding the environment, for example, we should exclude hydropower projects from that kind of, um, of no-go areas. We should also promote public participation, but it's not just by asking some uh, public re um, inquiry. You should really involve people at regional level or local level, organizing citizens' committee to think about what could be the best place to uh, put these um, renewable energy facilities. And finally, public acceptance. This is very important. How to make the public accept such wind turbines or solar panels? Well, I think that a very interesting point is the energy communities, which is a concept uh, developing at the EU level. And we should make it way more uh, attractive, financially attractive. So, it, very short, the idea is to propose to citizens, enterprise, uh, NGOs, everyone, to gather within a, an energy community and then to share the benefits of producing together uh, renewable energy. And we should make it more attractive for local people so they can be part of the solution. <laughs>